Hello and welcome to today's app in tutorial. In this video, I will guide you through how to add a custom go back link on the summary page in your Appian applications. The goal is to redirect users back to the site page they came from without relying on the browser's default back arrow. I'll show you two different ways to implement this. One using a traditional clickable link and another with text that becomes clickable so users can navigate back to the page they came from. Let's start with the first method, adding a clickable link. This method will create a standard link that users can click to go back to the site page they came from. So now let's navigate to the summary interface. This is where we will add the go back link. Alright, let's jump into the expression mode to make these changes. If you notice, the header of this section is part of a side-by-side -side item layout. This layout allows multiple components to be displayed side by side and we will be adding our go back link in a similar manner. So let's start by adding a new side by side item component for the go back link ensuring that it stays aligned with the header. To do that we will first locate the side by side layout we are working with. As you can see we already have one side by side item for the header. We will add another for the go back link. We will use rich text display field to display both the icon and the text. Inside the value parameter we are gonna have rich text icon for the left arrow icon. We will set the size to medium plus to make the icon bigger and the color to accent to make it stand out. Similarly, we will configure rich text item for the text go back which will be displayed right beside the icon. We'll change icon to text as it doesn't support icon parameter and let's go one size down for the text to make the text more visually appealing. Let's preview the page. Here we already have the go back link with both the icon and text and it is currently centered which is not ideal for this page. So to fix this we will add a side by side item in the middle which will push the go back icon and the text to the extreme right. So now we will insert an additional side by side item to serve as a spacer which will push the go back link to the far right. That additional side by side item doesn't display anything but occupy space and forcing the go back link to the right. But this is not it. In order to properly align the go back link to the extreme right, we will have to make use of the align parameter within the rich text display field to align the content to the right side of the layout. By setting the align parameter to right, we ensure that the content inside rich text display field is aligned to the right of the container. Alright, so now to make the elements clickable, we can use the link property within the rich text icon and rich text item components. We will use safe link to ensure that the go back link is secured and properly formatted. So when using URI, you provide the actual link that should be triggered when the user clicks on the icon or text. To get the URI, we will use a bang URL for site function which returns a URL for a site page. This makes it easy to link directly to the site pages without hard coding a link. Here we have this parameter called site page which takes a reference to a site page that is constructed using the site bang domain. In case you already know the name of your site, you can even skip entering the domain and simply type the name of the site for the domain and site object reference to appear. Once you select the site, you need to enter dot after your site name to auto suggest the site pages and then select a page from the drop down. But we also have to decide where the linked content should open. In order to determine that, we have this parameter called open link in within save link function which is used when you want to open a link in a new tab or the same tab. So I want the content to be open in the same tab. To further style the link, we will use link style parameter which is used to customize the appearance of a link. If you want the link to look like regular text but still remain clickable, you can set the link style parameter to stand alone. This is gonna make it appear as regular text without the underline but it is still clickable. 
To ensure both the icon and text are clickable, we need to apply the same configuration to both the text icon and the text item. Whatever makes the icon clickable should be duplicated in the text item as well. So I'll just copy and paste the same in here. Let's now test the first method and see how it works in action. Let me quickly save my changes and navigate to the site. Here we have a list of student records on the main page and when I click on a student's record, I am directed to a detailed view page where I can see more information about that student. Here I have this go back link. When clicked, it securely navigates me back to the page defined in the URL. So the first method seems to be working as expected. If you want to make them look more polished, you can customize the appearance of both the link and the text to make them stand out more. Now let's take a look at the second approach to implement this. Here, instead of just adding a static go back link, we will make the generated ID in the summary details clickable. It is the same as a first, just an alternative approach. We will copy the exact link parameter just like we did in the first method. Even though this is an alternative method, it produces the same result as a first. You can say this is just another way to structure the go back link and both methods work equally well. Let me just comment out the first method's code so we could test the second method. There we go. With the first method commented out and the second method now in place, we can run this to see it in action. I am going to save my changes now and navigate to the site. When I click on a student's record, you can see this generated ID is clickable and when clicked, it will take me back to the site URL as expected. So second method works perfectly. It redirects me to the home page as intended. And that's it for today's tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below with any questions or feedback. I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Bye-bye.